You know, it's true what they say about bike commuting. It's uncomfortable, it's hot, even though it's super cloudy right now. And it, it rained like really hard like an hour ago. So that made the road really mucky. But you know what? I wouldn't have it any other way. I love bike commuting. I'm gonna lie, I love whizzing through traffic because I just know that I'm not wasting time. So when you bike commute, you are choosing your discomfort, meaning like it's hot, it's wet, it can get dirty. But you know what? It's also really fast and really cheap. It's next to free. If you use a jeepney, it's uncomfortable, it's still cheap, it's really slow. If you use a car and if it's traffic, it's really slow and you might be comfortable but you're gonna complain about the traffic all the time and when I used to drive, I just felt like I was wasting my life away. Okay. Let's try to fix this problem that I have with my bike. All right, it fits! Finally! Not the collar I would have chosen, but you know, I'll take it. Next, we have one big announcement. But first, we need to get there. But if you ask me, the best way to commute through this city is with a motorcycle. It's just easier to get into trouble with a motorcycle. You know, you're on two wheels and you can go pretty fast. And you keep getting caught by cops for some reason. There's checkpoints. Okay, so we're here in Equilibrium and for some context, Equilibrium is actually a client of mine and they have a brand called Curve Coffee Collaborators and that is the brand that is going to be helping support the podcast in the next few months. So I'm very excited for this partnership. So let's go inside, grab a bag of beans and a coffee. And uh, let me introduce you to the Curve people. Oh, so I'm getting this one. Ah, so it's okay. I will do that. So that was fun. I asked Roxanne to make me a coffee if she could because I wanted to know how they do it. It's a bit different from how I do it at home, so I wanted to see. And I think I'm going to change my grind size. That was an interesting thing that I talked to Roxanne. She said, like, you can experiment with how you do it, but don't, don't change all the variables at once. Change one variable at a time. So I'm going to do my regular coffee process, but make it kind of coarser. I'll see how it goes. All right, I think it's gonna rain again, so I'm gonna have to hurry home. Simple traffic can get a bit crazy. was my little coffee corner. Let's put this down. Hopefully I can make that coffee corner improve a little bit in the next few months. So again, shout out to Curve Coffee collaborators for partnering with the vlog. There might be something really interesting 
within the year that happens with Gerv Coffee, and I am looking forward to it. It might be like an epic bikepacking trip up some sort of mountain. I gotta talk to Steph about that. Alright, no boring days, please subscribe.